right, there we go. All right, welcome everybody. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful afternoon. Uh, welcome back. I'm Fausto Baglisi. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little quick little video that we just played. Uh, basically what you're watching is a basically a demonstration of a couple of our, our students that have come to our events here in New York. And we want you to see the experience that they had and, and how well they did. But you know, at the end of the day, those people, you're going to meet them. They're great, wonderful traders. They're in our trading room. But the reason why you're here is we're looking to train and recruit traders so we could trade together like a team, like a family. So, and I know a lot of people get into trading. They hear good things. They hear bad things. They get, you know, you don't know what to believe. Uh, you attend some of these fake webinars and then you hear people think they're the greatest ever since sliced bread. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you the truth about how to do it. Okay. And I'm not talking just about the winners. I'm here to also talk about the losers, but I want to tell you about how to do it the right way. A lot of people go out there and they trade the wrong way. They look at the wrong things. They make things more complicated. Now, how do I know this? Because I was a market maker. That's what I used to do. Okay. But the way I became successful is exactly what I'm about to show you. So let me just tell you a little bit about what we're going to talk about, what we're going to learn. And, uh, and then we'll get into detail. I'm going to teach you my, you know, my number one strategy. Uh, I'm going to talk, uh, teach you guys a little bit about how to find the best stocks to trade. Because remember, it's all about making money, right? You don't care what you trade. You just want to make money. Second, how to find the smart money in today's markets. I mean, these people trade these stocks all day long. So we're going to find these traders. I want to show you how we do it. Sounds like pretty savvy to me, yeah? Well, guess what? I was you 25 years ago sitting there, not in a webinar, which didn't exist, but in a classroom. And when I was told that, I'm like, who doesn't want to know that? I'm also going to show you how to have a consistent game plan, which everybody likes to do. And I'm also going to talk about the number one thing, which is how to use today's NASDAQ Total View, which I've been a guest speaker on the NASDAQ um, uh, show, and we'll play the video at the end of this presentation so you could see what it's all about. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a crash course of what it is. Now, just to let you know, I've been around the world. I've traveled. I've done a lot of presentations. And um, I'm always hired people to, to try to train people what they're doing right and wrong because I was one of the original, what they call Soul's Bandits. Now, what is a Soul's Bandit? A Soul's Bandit is a original day trader that started back in the early 90s. I don't want to teach you about the old book. You could actually read my book uh, published by Wiley. It's, uh, on, on, it's a great fast read, great beginner book on Amazon. But um, I'm not here to sell you books, guys. I mean, I'm here to, to get you guys involved in our program so you could, we could trade together. But to do that, you have to surround yourself with good traders. Now, how did I get started is very important, which I want to share with you because this has a lot to do about where you came from. Um, I was 22 years old. You could see right in the front page of Forbes magazine, a bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street. I was actually one of those kids. Remember that big, ugly screen right there? I was getting a kick out of that. And um, to be around today and still doing it then, there was a, a, um, someone which I assume everyone's very familiar with, um, uh, Jim Cramer. And I, I met him a few years ago and I told him, you know, um, I met him in one of these events that I, uh, I was doing a speaking at. And he goes up to me, he goes, so what do you do? He goes, I'm a day trader. You know what he said to me? He says, my God, you're still in the, you're still in it. That's awesome. I'm like, why would I get out of it? Like, why would anybody, because you, you had the crash of 2000, 2008, you got the one with COVID right now. No one knows how to lose money. And that is the real big issue people have because they all have the wrong tools. And that's the main reason why I teach because it's not just having the right tools. It's surrounding yourself. The people that have a passion the way you do it. People that, you know, know they can't live on social security. Know they can't live off their pension. Knowing that they can't sit in their basement, do it at home, but they got to be part of a team. Okay. So I'm looking here to recruit some traders that I could train, but I want to show you not wasting your time, more importantly, even my staff's time to get you involved if it's not for you. So I want to go through this for an hour and show you how to actually get in today's volatile markets. Now let's begin. Um, why do you want to trade? So let me ask everybody that question. So I'm going to ask a lot of questions and I'm going to do a lot of poll questions. But let me ask everybody that question. 
Why do you want to trade? Can everybody tell me that? Just put it in a chat room. Why do you want to trade? Don't be shy. Four or five. Listen, there's over 100 people, 200 people in this webinar. People, just sit there and tell me, why are you here? Why do you want to trade? I want to learn my skills to use. I'm currently unemployed. Okay, Linda, very good. Uh, make money and feel um, excited. Okay, make secondary income from Lee. I love the challenge. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Listen, it's exactly, I like what some of you wrote. I like what Mike wrote. I like what James wrote. You're here to make money, period. You're here to make money. You should not care what you trade. You should not want to know what you trade. You don't want to listen to anything else other than one thing. You're here to make money. End the conversation. Now let's go and see how we do that. Did anybody see the stock SPI yesterday? Anybody see the stock SPI? Yes, some of you? Okay, great. Now, listen, what is, does anybody even know what this company does? What does SPI do? Because here at 8 a.m., here, let me show you here. Um, let me get my crayons here so you guys can follow along. So here you got Patrick. You know, here's the company's name around 8 o'clock this morning when we traded it. Stock goes from a dollar to about $3 in about 30 minutes. Uh, John from the UK made about a buck 30. James made about 32 cents around eight, nine o'clock this morning. And the stock goes up and then boom, we went from a dollar to four dollars. What does the company do? They make and sell electric cars. Okay. Interesting. Honestly, I didn't really know that. I don't know if you're right. And honestly, I really don't care. Okay. I don't, I don't want to know. I don't want to care. Um, but let's look, let's look over here. Let me change the slide here. So you could see from here after 11 o'clock, ran to 10, 11, 20, 30, almost $50 a share by two o'clock. Jeff B, look, these are the time. These are actually screenshots of the times. And by the way, you'll get to meet all these people in our trading room. He made a buck 30 at nine. Then he bought it. Then Matthew bought it and made a buck 30. And then Jerry made 230. And then Jose made a buck 20 at $20. People kept trading and trading and trading it. You know, yeah, poor shorts is right. Exactly. A lot of that, that's basically what it was. It was a short squeeze. But you think I care? Do you think that justifies that the, 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 the value of the company that was, let's say, worth $500 million, all of a sudden in one day is worth over, I don't know, uh, 50 billion in a matter of, how does a company go, let's just say 500 million to 50 billion in two hours? Easy answer, short squeeze, short squeeze. So anyway, I don't own the stock right now. We day traded, we made our money. See you later, okay? Um, here's JMS. He said he took him in at $12,000, called a day. What a ride. By the way, you'll get to meet James S. in this cyber group room. All right? Oh, forgot. I got more. Michael M. made about 15000 on that uh, on trading the stock yesterday. Okay? So how do we find SPI? All right? And um, how do we know it was going to break out? Well, the thing is this. It's a simple answer. You got to follow the money. Follow the money. Okay? Do you think you're smarter than Goldman Sachs? Merrill Lynch, Shearson Lehman. Do you really think you can compete against the biggest brokerage firms in the industry? Answer is probably no. Then why would you even trade, right? Why would you even consider competing against the biggest guys in the industry? They will destroy you. When you think it's going up, it's really going down. And when it's going down, it's really going up. Well, guess what? You're in luck. I used to work for them. And you don't have to beat them. You just have to join them. You see, you are just trying to get the crumbs on the floor. We are the ants. 
these guys are moving millions and billions of dollars. Do you think they really care about you making your $200 a day, your $500 a day? Do you think they're interested in suckering you in to do that? No. You just got to follow the smart money. And that was the first thing that I, uh, that I was taught. Okay? That was the first thing I taught is you got to follow the smart money. So how do we do that? You got to know who the brokerage firms are, who trade the stocks, what the institution investors are doing, and what the insiders are doing. Now, some people look at this and be like, well, you can't get this data. Which one of you just said, how do you do that? Well, this is the question I have to ask everybody, okay? I want to do a quick poll, all right? And my poll question is this. Um, here we are. I'm going to launch a poll right here. So the poll question is this. Uh, who trained you? Are you self-taught? Are you took a paid course? Do you, have a, do you have a mentor? I mean, like, who really trained you? And I'm going to share this with everyone. Nobody knows anyone's answer, but I want you to know how you fit with the rest of the people that are trading today's markets. All right, just give it another couple of seconds. I'm getting a pretty good response for this one. Looks like everyone's starting to re get more engaged. All right, so let me end the poll right here. So you could see that, um, and before I, 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 I click onto this, could you ask yourself a question? Would you give your money to somebody that never knew finance? Then what are you doing? Why would you even think of going out there and trying to trade your own money if you didn't know how to trade? Now, I know a lot of you here feel that, you know what, why should I give to somebody else? They just lost me money. I could do a better job. I'd rather lose it myself. That's good. But you know what? You got to know why you lost, okay? I'm going to end the poll and share the results. So you could see about half of you here are basically tied. You know, half of you are, are, are basically self-taught. And that is why, you know, I want to, I mean, I don't have to convince the people that took paid courses because obviously you know that you, nothing's free in this world. There's no such thing as free lunches. People think there is, but they're really not. Someone actually paid for it. So I don't have to convince you paid people, but you self-taught individual guys, listen, you're going to need a mentor. I might not be the right fit for you. You might not like me, whatever it may be, but I'm just warning you, if you want to do this, and you, if it's futures, forex options, you damn well better find a mentor. And you might need to find more than one. It, usually what happens, you know, you got to have to get a second opinion. You ever hear that from the doctor? Maybe you should get a second opinion before somebody does something more extreme to you. Well, you know what? You got money on the line. Why not do that? But let me tell you exactly what the whole philosophy and the style of cyber trade diversity is because if you really want to learn it, maybe this will kind of explain to you and maybe a light bulb might just kick in. So what we need to do is we need to find out where the buyers and sellers are. Okay. That's basically what I teach you. Okay. Where, who are the buyers and who are the sellers? Now, um, anyone ever heard of the phrase support and resistance levels? Ever hear that before support and resistance? Okay. Now, I don't believe in support and resistance levels. You're probably falling off your chair. You're like, what the hell is this guy talking about? You know, it's like the number one thing. I'll tell you why. What makes a support and resistance? Buyers and sellers. Supports and resistance levels get broken all the time. How is that even possible? Because what makes a support levels are buyers. What makes resistance levels is sellers. How do you know those sellers are still out there? How do you know those buyers are out there? So getting back to trading 101, you got to follow the money. Now, there are three different ways of doing that. There is level one, level two, but the, all those are basically obsolete. They don't do anything for you, okay, other than just tell you what the stock is trading at right now. Like if I ask anybody what a stock is trading at, you could probably tell me, um, I don't know, where's uh, United Airlines? It's trading at 32.60. Okay, I'm looking at the ticker right here on, uh, on the financial station. Great. Why is it trading there? Why is it down? Is it going up? Is it going down? I mean, that's level one. That's, the, that's actually the order. Now, NASDAQ total view, which I like to call it, and I get yelled at all the time, uh, is called level three. So let me ask everybody here. 
Who here has something like NASDAQ total view and level three? Now, if you're a student of mine, please don't answer this question because I don't want you to uh, basically um, fudge the numbers. Who here has level three or NASDAQ total view? Now, as you're answering that, I'm going to play the video uh, at the end of the presentation while all of you guys are going to want to register because by the time at the end of this red presentation, you're going to be drooling your mouth, okay? You're going to be like, holy crap, what the hell? Why would I not want to get involved, okay? But uh, we'll play that video as you guys get registered, okay? So I'll give you a heads up. So it looks like a, about 80% of you do not have it, okay? I'm going to share that results. Um, now... I know we have a lot of students in here also, but it looks like a lot of you don't. And you know what? That's okay. Let me convince you what it is, and then you'll know exactly why you've been trading blind this whole time. So what we're looking at right here is a screenshot of a NASDAQ book viewer. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, is basically what you're looking at is the exchange. You ever heard of having a seat on the exchange? That's what this is. You have a seat right now in exchange. You get to see the buyers and you get to see the sellers, but you don't know who's buying it and selling it. You just see the orders, which basically what, how things go up, buyers and sellers. Do you notice it doesn't say support and resistance? Okay, buyers and sellers. Oh my God, that's pretty interesting. Okay, makes sense. So with that said, uh, hold on, I'm getting pinged here. It's not my staff. No, okay. Um, so let's implement a chart here. Okay. So here you have, uh, a stock Uber, which I know a lot of you are very familiar with. Okay. And you see how the stock goes from 3340 and it drops all the way down and takes a huge hit and drops exactly at 3180 and then goes up, hits 3180, goes back up, hits 3180, goes back up comes back down to close to 3180. If for some reason for the past several hours, it just does not want to get past 3180. Why is that even possible? Well, we know just by looking at the chart, most of you would say, oh, that means it's support. No. What makes a support mean there was a buyer there. And when you look at the level at NASDAQ book viewer, you could see that there is a 63,000 share buyer at 3180 and which makes up over seven different orders around the world. Now, everybody who has what's access to NASDAQ, which you two also can do, um, are looking to buy it. There are seven different people around this world and somebody wants to buy a lot of it. Maybe someone wants to buy a little bit, but there's a substantial amount of orders out there to buy at that, support, at that price, which kind of makes common sense. It's not the support level. It's the buyer that's making that support level. And that's why Uber was having a very t difficult time getting past that 3180 for that one simple reason. Now, let's look at American Airlines, okay? Stock at 930 this morning goes from $31 all the way up to about 34. And for some reason at 1030, the stock went from $34 back down to 32. Now, how could you have had a game plan? How would you have known that the stock was going to go lower at 34? Why didn't it go to 37? Why didn't it stop at 32? Why 34? Well, majority of people would say, oh, because that's resistance. No, no. It's not that it was resistance. It's because there was a 123,000 share seller out there that made the resistance. You follow what I'm saying? Who do you trust more, a, a resistance level or a big block order? Remember, it's not about what happened in the past. It's about what's indicative of the future. You need to have a game plan. You need to see where these orders are. Which, by the way, everything that I'm talking about, I'm going to invite every single one of you to watch me do this live for a whole week in my trading room. I mean, it, it almost makes like common sense. People like, you know, it's like, you ever, you ever do like an introductory, like you go and like, you know, it's like uh, you go to a hotel or an introduction and like, you know, or you go at a ballpark and they're going to tell you what's going on. And then obviously the next step is like, 
I'm ready to jump in. Just tell me where, where's the pool? I want to jump in now. That, oh my God, look at that pool. And the guy's like, wait, don't worry about it. I got to show you a couple of things. No, no, no. I know this place is awesome. Guess what? You're going to get that opportunity. But before you get the opportunity, I got to show you that this stuff does actually exist. Because a lot of people think this is fake orders and it's not. And I'll prove it to you. Uh, can you scan for stocks with a lot of activity on level three, Tommy? Absolutely. And I will show you that live in the market. Absolutely. Okay. So let's move on. Everybody ready for a little challenge? Let's have a little challenge. Okay. So um, I'm going to do, a, uh, I'm gonna do something right here. So could you guys tell me, looking at, looking at Delta, is this stock going up or down? Let's see how you guys answer this question. What do you guys think? Up or down? I'm drinking my, uh, my coffee right here. My Cybertrade University cup coffee. All right. First of all, I don't understand why there are several of you here not answering this question. I don't know what you're afraid of, okay? Uh, you admit that you're going to be wrong. If you're, if you're afraid that you're going to admit that you're going to answer this question wrong, you should not be trading, okay? Every single one of you that's in here should be answering this question unless you're, unless you're watching TV or you're, being, you, you know, you're doing something else. All right, so let me end the poll. Let me share the results. So you could see here that I don't understand how six people here think this stock is going up. I have, I'm still boggled out of my mind because every time I ask this question, it's not a trick question, okay? So the correct answer is it's going down. It is going down. So I, I don't know if you're being cute or you really know what you're doing, but if you were serious, you should recommend, I should recommend you do not trade in the stock market. Okay. I'm just being dead. If you were being serious, you are 100% wrong. The stock is going down. Okay. So you just failed the first test right away. And you know what? That's okay. Don't get, don't get, don't get insulted, whatever it is. It's not for everybody. Now, for the ones that said it was going down, I want to get to the next question, okay? Before we get to the next slide, is, this, is Delta going to zero, yes or no? Is it going to zero? Could happen, <laughs> you know? But not really. It's going to stop. It's going to bounce. I mean, people are covering a short, right? What do we need for the stock to go up? What do we need? Wow, this is awesome. Everybody's saying, wow, we got some really good listeners here. Everyone here is saying exactly what you should be saying. You need buyers. It's funny, no one said support level, right? You see how quick, how fast you learn, right? No, no support. You need buyers. The problem with the chart, you don't see buyers. So we got to go hop over to level three. So I'm looking over here for the buyers, okay? And um, looking over here for the buyers. Now, as I work my way down, I see, you know, 1,800, 300. Oh, wow, look at this little arrow right here. You got 92,000 shares looking to be bought. And there's 14 different people around the world that are making up that 92,000. So without even like, you know, questioning a chart or the news or anything, there is an official big, block order, which we call an iceberg order out there at 2830. So in theory, what do you think is going to happen when we get close to 2830? That's right, Tomaz. That's, that's, a, that's a group because it's aggregated. If you look right here, I have a check right here. It says aggregated orders. I don't, I don't tie it up because I'll, I'll, you know, then I kind of lose the depth. It should reverse, right, William? Everybody else? I mean, does everybody agree with me? It should go up in theory, right? Okay. So let me change the slide. Okay. So here we are. Here's that Delta trade. And then sure enough, within a snap of a finger, within one minute, it goes from 2830 right back up to 29. Wow. If you bought a thousand shares at 2830 or even above it, right before that guy was, and you rode up to the next resistance, you sold it at 29, you do the math. In 15 minutes, you would have made literally 
almost 60 cents on that trade. 60 cents on a thousand shares. A 60 cents. What the hell is 60 cents? People big doubt. 60 cents, a thousand shares is a hundred thousand dollar salary. Wow. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money when you think about it for some of us. Some of us, we, we can't even make that working at McDonald's, okay? Some of us can't, can't even, here you are. You think you're going to make that on Social Security? You think you're going to make that on giving it to someone on a pension? Oh, the guy showed me 10% of my money. Big deal. I'll do that all day. Now, if you don't believe me this works, guess what? Every one of you are going to get invited to see us do it live with my hundreds of active professional traders doing it every day. Um, James says you got to make a lot of Big Macs. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, does Nasdaq totally the same there as Book Viewer? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. They call it the Book Viewer. Okay. But guys, listen, Kenny, do me a favor and everybody, please do not buy it. Don't buy it. I beg you. Um, because what's going to happen is let me show it to you live because you'll do more damage than good. You really, really would. And you don't want to do that. Okay. So, and by the way, what I'm showing you, this doesn't even scratch the surface. You got to understand something. This is only one market. There are about five. I didn't aggregate all five. And hell, I didn't even show you level four. This is like just basic stuff. Okay. So when you come into my trading room, I'm going to show you something 10 times more valuable where I integrate this on something else. So that's going to be the great thing. All right. Now let's look at this. Let, now let's forget about the charts. Let's forget about everything else. Let's look at this. Okay. Um, these, the, all these charts and India. Where is resistance levels in American Airlines? Where do you think resistance in theory would be? Well, what is the resistance? Resistance, we are sellers. So where are the sellers? See where everybody's answering. Well, you guys, you know what? I really like this group. This group is really nice. You guys are very interactive. Congratulations. If you said 1290, because there's about 600,000 shares looking to be sold there, you're absolutely right. Without even thinking, okay, that is my exit without any question. And by the way, yes, that is a real order. And if you don't believe me, when you come in my trading room, I'll find a stock like American Airlines with a 600,000 share order, which is about over $6 million worth of stock. And we'll use your money and we'll test it and see if it's real. Fair? I always get people always question you. They're like, oh, I heard about these are fake orders. And I get, I'll be honest, I get so offended when people tell me that. I'm like, who trained you? Where could you put fake orders out there? We think this is fake news, okay? Those are real orders. You don't believe me, we'll use your money, we'll execute it. Sound like a deal? Okay, I don't think everyone wants to take that bet. <laughs> All right, so when you look at this stock right here, American Airlines, you see the resistance levels there, stock comes back down. But when most people are like, oh, maybe it's a breakout, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, a, bull, a, a bear flag, a bull flag, Whatever it is, I don't care what you think it is, okay? Because at the end of the day, that stock did exactly what it did when it came up to that seller. It went from 1290 all the way back down to 1220. And you know what? You can be greedy. You could be like, you know, and it, listen, they do this on every single stock. But at the end of the day, why do you have to question the street? Why do you have to question and says, oh, but why is it going down? It's got great news. Why, you know, they just got all the stimulus package with COVID. Why, why? I don't care. Listen, it's not your uh, financial, uh, uh, technical analysis, strategy, whatever you want to call it, okay? Because it's all BS to me. Because I was trained this way. Everybody's like, my mentor taught me the best. He says, Fausto, once you think you know something about the market, you're going to lose. And I'm like, I don't understand. I passed by seven license, 63. It's the third hardest test you know, to, against the bar and the account. How could I, what do you mean? I don't know. It doesn't matter what Fausto and what the street, it, it, you think. It matters what these people think, okay? That's the way you have to look at it. And if you think you're smarter than them, no problem. Let me know how that works out for you. Because this is the thing. I know we have a lot of people here that are 
doing swing, uh, swing trading, options trading, Forex trading, futures trading. Can I give you a little advice? If you're not making money within 30 to 60 days, what you basically doing with those markets, you're wasting your time. You're really literally wasting your time. It's time to try something different. And you know what? I say this all the time. I know a lot of us been to the doctor. And I know there's a lot of nice doctors out there. But one doctor always, my mother always taught me something. God rest her soul. She just passed away um, two years ago. And she always said to me, you know, there's a lot of nice doctors, okay? But who do you want to work on you? The guy who's got good bedside manners or the guy who can get the job done, okay? If a doctor puts you on medication and you've been on it for 30 days and you're not getting any better, you got two choices. You better get on different medication or you better find a new doctor. I don't care who the guy is. Not that they're all nice people. You know, they could be nice, but at the end of the day, you got to follow the street. Don't outsmart them. Um, now, we call these here at Cybertrain University. I came up with a word called iceberg orders after watching the movie Titanic. Sad story. I don't know if you guys know about it. But the problem with the Titanic, it never had the radar look at the bottom. You see, it's not what's on top of the water. It's what's on the bottom of the water. And a lot of people are not looking at the next level out there. And if you don't, guess what? That's how you're going to crash and you're going to get crushed. Okay? Now, let's get back to the fake news. Okay? Now, I, I hear it all the time, so I'm going to call people out. It. Are these fake orders? Well, let me ask everyone. Is anybody using time in sales? Anybody here use the time in sales window? Some of you? Okay, good. So anyway, this is the confirmation of a transaction taking place. So when you buy or sell something, it's going to come up on time in sales. Okay. And what's nice about the time in sales is that you can see the consistency of where the transactions are taking place, if they're on the bid or if they're on the offer. So basically you see a lot of reds, you could assume that, oh, the people are selling it. You get a lot of greens, that means a lot of people are buying it. It's almost like that's why the color's there, red light, green light. Okay. Um, now, by knowing where these colors are, are going to help us to know if these transactions are taking place. So here you have a stock, we're looking at SDC, right? Now, SDC has a huge seller right here. Um, you could see right here at $10, at 183,883 people around the world trying to sell 90,000 shares, huge resistance, okay? Now, technically, could the stock go past 10? Of course it could. See, but in theory, we know that's a resistance levels because it's a big seller. But guess what? Somebody could go out there and buy it from that guy, okay? And the only way to know it is by looking at here and looking at the chart. Because you look at the chart, you can see, wow, stock went, from, went to that resistance levels, came back down, hit it. He sat there for three hours. Eventually, he let go and the stock busted right through and it went to 1080, which means one thing. The guy got executed. That's what it is. It, the guy got was sold. And the way we know that is through time and sales. So now there's another window that a lot of you guys are missing. Now I am what's called a tape reader. I teach my students how to read the tape and the tape is the time and sales by seeing where those transactions are taking place by seeing if those orders get done is going to basically give me confirmation of where to get in and where to get out. And like I told you, Every one of you are going to see this live in trading. And you know what? I personally guarantee it. Personally guarantee it. All right? Because if I didn't, I wouldn't have a AAA rating at the Better Business Bureau. I wouldn't have a five-star rating, which is almost impossible on Google. Okay? You always get some disgruntled person. I wouldn't be endorsed by more brokerage firms at any school in the industry. So I have a reputation after 25 years out there, and I like to keep it that way. So I will show you all this live. Now, let's look at this stock right here. What happens to Norwegian Cruise when it breaks the support level? Well, you could see right here, once it's, the buyers were there, time to sell. Red, 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 red. I mean, just every transaction. If you didn't know the sellers were there, you would get yourself in trouble. You have to follow the money, uh, fellow traders. 
So Romo Stab pretty much, by the way, anyone have any questions? I'm sitting here talking away and, you know, I had, I, 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 we have some staff that's in here, you know, answering questions as you go along. Uh, but is everybody following along? Am I lost? Did I lose anybody? Did I lose anybody? Just give me a yes or no. Alex says, no, great stuff. Okay, nice presentation. I got lost on the second part. <laughs> okay, well, listen, it's being recorded. You can watch it again. So I always like to end off. I always tell my traders uh, this every time we do a class. What did you learn today? What could you tell me? What did you learn today that you didn't know before? You didn't know about time and sales warrant? Okay. You didn't, Daniel didn't know about level three. Okay. Anybody else? Level three, didn't know about it, Thomas more. Okay, good. Howard says support and resistance, didn't know that were buyers and sellers. And you know what? Think about it. I only been teaching you for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Imagine what you'll see in a week live in the trading room. So it's time not to make things more complicated than what it is. It's time to do something called the KISS method. Keep it super simple, okay? People make things more complicated than what it is. They're buying all these programs. They're buying all these indicators. Personally, I could tell you this. I don't use any indicators because it doesn't work for day trading. The reason why I day trade is because I get to sleep at night. I'm in cash. I don't have to worry about anything. You see how volatile the market's been the last couple of days? Some of you guys thought we had a big rally. Now we're giving it all back. Then it's going up. Do we hold on? Do we sell? What do we do? Just follow the money and just sit in cash at the end of the day because cash is going to be king. But you're making things more complicated than what it is. And by going out there and journaling and doing your journals is going to make you become a better trader. By the way, if anybody wants, you know, some free content, some free journal, just give me an email. Just send me an email, Faust to PSCTU Corp. You know, that's, that's how we do things. Uh, does this work for Forex, Ronnie? Well, Ronnie, let me ask you a question. How long have you been trading Forex for? And are you making money doing it? How long, you know, for me, I know how to trade Forex. Um, every market is pretty much the same. A lot of it's psychology and discipline. Um, it's only about 30% different. But if you're not making money with Forex, if you're not making money with futures or options, one year, okay, and you're up and down. Well, Ronnie, maybe it's time to change. You know, you're going up against the biggest banks in the world. You think you're going to beat them, Ronnie? Over here, you got 25,000 stocks to trade. You had a stock like, you know, uh, what do we have? Uh, SPI was up almost 40,000% in one day. Uh, you won three to five. Sun W went from a dollar to today, went to as high as eight. You know, I mean, you don't get that in, in the currency market. You know what? The only way I could prove it to you is when you come in my trading room, you'll see it'll make perfect sense. Okay. Um, listen, it's like a diet. Oh, I did the Atkins diet, the Atkins diet. You know what? Maybe, maybe you should, maybe you should go see a, a, you know, a nutritionist. You know, when you go out there and you do the 17 diet, that's when you're going to start realizing, you know what? It's kind of not working out for me. I tried every diet, the South Beach diet, the, the, uh, uh, the Atkins diet, um, the, uh, the Weight Watchers diet, uh, Jenny Craig diet. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, you know what? Maybe I should do it right. And now this is where it comes to it. If you love trading and you want to make money and you want to, and you, this made sense, you got to do it right. But let me explain something to you. To do, very, to do it right, you don't really have to make a lot of money to do it. It's like we're looking at the stock CODX. In one day, it went from 4 to four eleven. Do you need to make, you know, five points? No. If you just made 50 cents, $500 is a $100,000 salary. You don't have to kill it. You just have to follow the money. Um, Troy, yes. Okay, so Troy's question is, what about book map? Absolutely. And guess what? We're going to talk about Bookmap. Here's one great stock that we were trading all day today. Uh, Nikola, look at these big resistance levels. The guys got done. There were 100,000 share sellers. Boom, guy got executed. Guy was out there, got executed. Guy got executed. We're going to talk about this, okay? You heard about Nikola, right? Stock got hammered, got destroyed. 
Now it's going up. Why is it going up? Because you got to follow the money. You got to follow the money. And you got to see those orders getting done. But every one of you are going to need a mentor. So listen, trading is a great job. I don't, I don't want to sell you the dream, but it really is a dream job. You know, with everything going on with COVID, working from home, you know, going out there. It's getting pretty warm in my room. Um, Going out there, don't you want to spend more time with your family? Don't you want to be able that you don't have to be obligated to answer to a boss? How many of you guys are retired here and think about what am I going to do? You know, I mean, there's no business out there that's going to pay you the money like we're doing right now. There's not. So time to enjoy life and do something that's going to help you get to that level. But to do it, you got to do it right. Okay. And you got to surround yourself with people that know what they're doing. Remember, it's not just teaching you, it's trading with the traders. And that's what you need to do. And getting to your question about options. Listen, you know how hard it is to trade options? And, and do realize that it's the movement of the stock that makes an option move. So wouldn't you think you need to know how to trade the stock first before you can trade an option? That's what trading, you know, you don't want to do it backwards. It's got a great story, but you know what? Are you really making money doing it? That's what you have to ask yourself. So this is what I want everybody to do. I want to invite every single one of you to come into the original trading room that I started 25 years ago. Now, you'll notice there's a bunch of them all over the place. And believe it or not, some of them are my students. Some of them are my instructors. Some of them copied Cyber Training University. But obviously, you know, and that's okay. All right. That means we're doing something right. But if you want to come to the original trading room, I'm going to invite every single one of you and I want you to come in here. Okay. Now, granted, I'm just going to let you know, a lot of people really don't qualify to trade, but the only way you're going to know is you're going to come in here and you're going to see everybody and you're going to watch them. And the big thing is this, don't count our money. Watch the losers and watch how few we have. Watch and see how we get out of those trades you know, and take losses. I think that's the biggest thing people have to learn. It's not about making money. It's about controlling losses. And watch these people in there and see how they make money. Because if they could do it, you could do it. Now, this is how you sign up. This is a free webinar. So honestly, I really don't know who you are, where you came from, whatever. But I need, we need to know this because the only way you can get into this room, you got to come up with $9. That's it. Nine lousy stinking dollars. And you know what? At the end of the week, if it doesn't make any sense to you, you want your money back, you can have your $9 back. Honestly, I, I don't need the money. That is just an application fee to let us know that you say who you really are. That's really basically what it is. So for $9, come in my trading room. And for the first 20 people that get in, I will personally give you a coaching class. Now, why would that be? Because I need to interview you to see if we're a good fit. Because a lot of you are going to look at this. It might be too fast, maybe not set up properly, you know, maybe too desperate. I don't know what the issue is, but go out there, $9, first 20 people, get a free coaching class with me. And, you, and this is what you're going to get with it, by the way. You're going to get one week in the cyber group room, three daily market meetings, a morning and afternoon watch list, you're going to get a personal education advisor. Yes. You know what's incredible? People freak out and can't believe that we actually answer the phone. They're like, I don't understand. This is weird. You call anybody else and nobody answers you. They tell you to go through email because they're one-man operations. You know, they don't really care about you other than trying to hit you for some residual. All right? And I'm not here to bash any other company because that's not really good business. But you know what? That should tell you something. All right? Um. We do live Q&A uh, sessions, all for $9. The thing is this, I want to make sure that if you really want to do this, that you finally are going to be in a real room with true professionals and see what it's all about. That's what it comes down to. All right, so with that said, guys, um, anybody have any last-minute questions? So you got, you, by the way, don't log out because as you guys are registering, we're going to play the video on NASDAQ so you could see me do a presentation there that will even teach you a little bit more. But um, anybody have any questions? Uh, when can I start? So listen, this is what I recommend you to do. Register now. You can't get into the room until you activate your account to you talk to an education advisor because they got to do a little walkthrough to kind of explain what you're doing. You're going to be lost. So there's a couple of videos that are going to go through it. We're going to take the time to tell you exactly what's going on. We want to make the experience 
exciting and fun. Okay. And then on, I would probably start on Monday, you know, and work your way until the end of the week. And by that time, we'll probably schedule a call, maybe a Wednesday, Thursday, maybe Friday, depending on the schedule, depending on how many you get in. And, um, and we'll go from there and we'll see if you want to move forward. Okay. Uh, it's the same exact thing, Warren, that we, we offered through the Metastock. Absolutely. Absolutely. Same thing. Okay. Okay. So Tastyworks does not have level three. They're more of an option platform. It's a great platform. You could trade stocks. So what I would recommend you do um, is that if you have Tastyworks, which by the way, Tom Sosnoff is a very good friend of mine. He comes on, he comes on here all the time. He actually, you know, even when he owned Thinkorswim, I did a lot of, I do a lot of education for them, but what you're going to need to is going to need to second, you're going to need a second software. Uh, you could get it through NASDAQ. It's $15, $15. But before you do that, let's pay nine and go from there. Okay. Um, any other questions? Does Ninja Trader have it? No, it does not have it. It's more Ninja Trader is more geared towards uh, more futures. Okay. Um, let me just read off a couple of people. My phone's binging like crazy. Hold on. Uh, who we got here? All right, William from um, from Los Angeles got your registration. Who else we got here registering right now? Sergi K from from Russia. Is that right? All right, welcome aboard. Got a lot of people from Europe that always comes. They, you know, listen, it doesn't matter where you're from. The U.S. market is just easier to trade. Uh, got a. Gangadu from uh, from Woodstock, up in Canada. All right, it looks like they're just coming in right now. Any other questions? Uh, can I use this for TC two thousand? I don't use TC two thousand. I don't really know too much about it. I know they've been around for a while, so I don't. I can't answer that question, Alex. You have to call them and ask them. Say, listen, I took a class with Cyber University. They're talking about this level three thing. Do you guys offer it? Um, that's what I would recommend. Uh, Sal, you will learn level four. And we'll see it when we get into the trading room with the $9. Yes. I'm not going to go out there and I, I don't have the time to do it right now. Right now, my goal is just to, I got to get you in the room. I got to get you in the room. Listen, if I didn't press you for $9 and I'm obviously, I'm a waste of your time. All right. But you know what? Don't be shy. I mean, listen, the worst thing could happen is you learn something. You know what I mean? You go out there. I'm like, you know what? Even if you're in another market and you're doing something, listen, if it's not working out in 30 to 60 days, you might need to change. And that's okay. You're better off because, and don't be like, but I spent all this money. Like I get people ask me, oh, I took this course. I spent $10,000, $20,000. I got to get it to work. No, you don't. No, you don't. If it doesn't work out, you know, listen, kids go to college and dish out a quarter million dollars and they don't even go to school what they, what they actually do for a living. You know what I mean? You know, sometimes you're better off cutting your losses when, than, than trying to make it work. Uh, you cannot open my page. I don't know what that means. If you can't open the page, just call us up, okay? You got the number on the screen right there. 877-70-CYBER. Uh, is this platform okay, uh, web broker? Uh, listen, do yourself a favor. Don't worry about brokerage accounts. Don't worry about any of that stuff. That's, you don't need anything. You don't need any of that stuff right now, okay? None of that. All you need right now is nine dollars that's all you need okay nine dollars all right all right traders so um listen i gotta get ready for the afternoon meeting um we only trade about an hour a day the first hour of the open last hour of the close so i want to get back to my traders in the room so listen i hope you guys learned a lot and listen I'm just telling you guys, you want to do it right. You got to learn. You got to get mentors and you got to be part of a team and you got to trade with traders um, and you got to be able to talk to other traders and so on. And that's what Cyber Trading University is. We're a community. We're a family. So come and test this out. See what it's all about and, and, and see what the good and the bad and the ugly is about. You know, you might, you might like it. You might, might, might make sense. Um, even if you tried it and you failed in the past, maybe it's time – Maybe now this is good. it could be a, a new leaf turner for you. But if you like, if you're unemployed or you're working from home and you need to make supplemental income, 
there's no better thing than trade the market, but you got to learn before you could earn. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank the staff for helping everybody get in here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This was recorded. So you'd be able to watch it again. Don't go anywhere. As you guys are registering, we're going to play really quick, the quick video uh, of NASDAQ and uh, maybe learn a little bit more about total view and we'll see you all in the live trading room. Thanks for logging in everyone. See you all, see you all in the room.